Howdy folks, this is Black Sorpo. We're back again to talk about Jurassic World Evolution 2. I want to talk about UI and game modes in this game. So let's start from the UI. Some of this image I screen captured from the last monthly high life live stream, but actually it's from a German article. You already knew it and from Dev Diary. Let's see this dinosaur statistics UI. It does look very different from the first game. Basically, the data requirements or information about dinosaurs still same, but on this game, it's split into more groups. I think there are status, dino requirements based on comfort, territory, and environmental needs. Then disease status if the dino infected, petting and genetics info, socials and further information about the dinosaur. Probably most still has same gameplay control. Right click to pet, R button to hide dinosaur statistic and right left arrows to cycle dinosaur etc. But the new feature there are pause, play and speed up buttons. It appears on the right down before the money and park ratings. So we can stop the game time but we still can control and manage the park like Planet Zoo. For the building itself, we can read about the building and some can be upgrades just like in the first game, but upgrades options will be had different and variety. We can customize the colors of gas building with color palette or color picker. It showed from this image. The UI design looks different from the first game and have a lot of new things. I personally like the design from this game rather than the first one. Alright, so let's move on game modes. So in challenge mode, there are four difficulty levels, easy, medium, hard, and jurassic. But you will need to unlock a certain number of stars on any given difficulty before you can proceed to the next level. New feature in challenge mode is conditions. This will place constraint on your game to make each playthrough slightly more challenging and will differ depending on which difficulty you are playing. For instance, if you are playing an easy level on challenge mode, you may be limited to 25 species in your park, whereas if you are playing a medium level, you may have limit of 15 species. So, the harder the level, the fewer limit of species. I cannot imagine if this make the game challenging or easier due to harder the level. Each level is a bespoke challenge with different tasks you need to complete. The conditions, maps, and what you have available is, I mean, to achieve is different for each level, and it's up to you to decide how to achieve a five stars rating. So each level has different tasks. Just imagine we're playing on first map, but we play on easy levels after we completed it. It will unlock medium level. If we are going to play medium level on the first map, the text will be different from the easy level. This challenge mode missions will have both a global location and a context that will make them really fun to play. 
So, global location. I mean, the place not just taken like in North America, but can be different place, but same biomes. We're not back to tropical biome, I think. Um, probably Canada, Russia, Germany, France for the forest and maybe Mexico for the desert they're not tied into the game's main narrative so each can be played in isolation plus you earn unique species cosmetic unlock for earning 5 stars across the different difficulties so there's lots of reason to take up the challenge so some cosmetic needs to be unlocked from this challenge within different difficulties and park stars sandbox mode thankfully returned in this game not a lot of change from the first game but maps from chaos theory and challenge mode will be playable in sandbox mode Offering up lots of variety to your park building experience. Also, sandbox mode content needs to be unlocked by recently research researching it in other modes. So your sandbox parks will be constantly evolving with your gameplay. We start you off with some basic stuff. But the rest will need to be unlocked for you to access. Well, um, I can conclude to play this game. Uh, you must play all levels of challenge mode to unlock good features and other modes to unlock sandbox mode. Well, uh, some features and mode are locked and need to complete all tasks on every level well i hope you guys uh, enjoy this videos if there are any question or something i missed let me know in the comment below and see you next time so take care and auf wiedersehen